everyone. Thanks for coming in on our two-day event for Earth Day. This is the collaboration that Nate put together. Thank you so much, Nate, for inviting me again for this year. Uh, today, um, I am doing a piece, um, Earth Day Recycled. It was kind of like the theme, but I also want to add in a little bit of quote-unquote pollution. So uh, I grew up in Virginia, so uh, I was always around beaches and lakes and things so i always saw lots of pollution people throwing bottles and paper and you know whatever you could think of out on the sand you know partying it up but just not being responsible so i wanted to do a piece that's probably different from everybody else's so i wanted to do another beach resin scene but i wanted to add some more abstract uh, objects to the piece so I'm going to be adding down some, you know, pieces of pollution to it. So just bringing awareness to, you know, Earth Day and how we need to keep our Earth clean because this is where we all have to live. <laughs> all right, so let's get down onto the wood panel that I'm going to be painting on today. Be right back. All right, everyone. So what I've got for my contribution to the Earth Day Pour collab is I did a uh, beach scene on a cradle board um, last two years ago, but I did it on this side of the 18 inch by 18 inch board. I'm doing something a little different and I'm going to do it on the inside because I'm also going to make the beach scene, add a little few shells and things like that, but I'm also going to add pollution. I've mixed up some resin and I mixed in some sand that I got from Michael's. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this out here, the pattern, and let it kind of be the beach. I'm also going to put some on the edges. So I'm gonna add some more in here. Now I just take my heat gun and I torch it to make sure it's got all the air bubbles out. going to lay out my colors for my water. My colors for my water, I'm using Payne's Gray, which is a really, really deep, dark bluish gray. Not really gray, sorry. Uh, Thalo Blue from Amsterdam. And then I'm using some turquoise. So it's going to be three layers. Now I'm going to pour out my phthalo blue. Then I'm going to pour in my turquoise. Now I'm gonna blend all the colors together. This will give that water illusion. <laughs> give this a little bit of a torch.
Now we're gonna add the white. It's gonna give the breaking waves look. I'm just gonna pour a little bit along the edge of the beach, kind of in the middle here. And up here towards the back. So I'm just taking my finger and just kind of pushing the white. All right, so when I come back after this is dry the next day, what I'm gonna do is I will add in some more white to create the waves. And then I'm also gonna add bits and pieces of like glass and paper, kind of representing um, my, my, my piece of pollution. All right, you guys, so I'm back with the final portion um, what it's time to do now is to lay out my pollution. Uh, so what I've got is a couple of beer caps, a bottle top that I broke, and a can, a uh, piece of uh, aluminum can that I, that I cut up. So what I'll do is I'm going to pour in my last coat of resin, then I'm going to place these in there, and I'm also going to make my waves. I am um, off camera, I did not get to you guys, but I did find some stones outside of my driveway that I peeled those up and I put those in here as well. My next coat of resin. So I'm going to create some more waves. So what I'm going to do is I'm pouring out my white alcohol ink. Just a little bit. And you can take a little bit of the casting white, kind of just run it through there real lightly. Let's put some more wave out over here. Bit of the casting white. 
does not take much of the white. Looks good. Now we're gonna place in our pieces of pollution. Okay, so here we are with the finished result. Still wet there, obviously. Bring in here. Really cool, I'm liking this a lot. All right, let's see how this dries. All right, you guys, so here's the dried result. I'm sorry, with resin, you're gonna get that glare, but I'm gonna try to eliminate that as best as possible, but really, really cool result. All right, everyone, that is the piece. So it dried just fantastic. Um, I'm gonna put one more clear coat of resin just to make sure everything's got a nice and, and, and uh, dried. It's not gonna go anywhere. Everything's put in place pretty much, but I just wanna put one more coat. I've got a, one little hair that I gotta kind of buff out there, and then I will um, put another coat over top of it. But And I also, off camera, I painted the, um, the fronts and the sides white. That way it just kind of makes the piece stand out a little bit more, so. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much, uh, Nate, for inviting me to be a part of this again. I really do appreciate it. Next up is going to be Kelly with Feral Art. Everyone have a great day. Don't forget, this is a two-day event. You can see the full playlist in my description box. All right, everyone, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.